when we say Shiva, if you look at his life process, he went through everything that any human being would go through. He is many things at the same time. He is the most beautiful, he is the ugliest, he is a great ascetic, he is a family person, he is the most disciplined, he is a drunkard, he is a dancer, he is absolutely still. Gods worship him, demons worship him, all kinds of creatures in the world worship him. Whatever we say about Shiva, you must understand, the very opposite is also the truth. He is the Bhairava, the most fearsome, one who is of quick temper and immense violence. He is also the most compassionate. He is the Sundaramurti, the seducer, a gallant lover and a compassionate, handsome and romantic being. He is also the Tandava Murti, one whose dance would destroy the very process of creation. At the same time, he is Achaleshwara, absolute stillness, one who does not know any moment. Shiva is a yogi who should not be named. To name is to limit and curtail. At the same time, the many, many names of his, the sum total of all these names is an absolute representation of the whole universe, all its complexities, the representation of all the unfathomable mysteries of the existence. If you can accept this man who is a complex formation of every quality that you can find on this planet, if you can accept him, you have crossed life itself. The whole idea is to destroy your logical mind so that you open up to a different dimension of life altogether.